All right, so I'm gonna try to record this again. You know, my phone keep cutting off. My phone keep deleting videos. You know, keep doing the most weird ass shit, bro, with me trying to expose my targeting. You know, catching good footage and then like videos and shit actually dissing and peering out my phone now. I'm over here trying to record. I literally, it says I have 70 gigabytes free, but it's stopping talking about memory fucking full. Like, bro, I'm, uh, I'm over this shit, bro. I'm really, I'm really out here fighting real evil and people out here projecting you some fucked up ass person while doing the most evilest scandalous shit I've ever experienced in my life. This is why when you try to expose the things you're going to, it sounds outlandish. It sounds like you schizophrenic. It sounds like there's something wrong with you. Like it's fucked up, bro. And y'all got to understand, bro. It's the system we stay in. It ain't the one percenters. Fuck all that shit. It ain't no one percenters. It ain't no goddamn... Nah, bro, it's the it's the this, this evil, dumbed down ass system that just seek to harass and want to destroy people for no reason, bro. It is what it is. People can believe me, but I'm tired of this this weird ass behavior I'm receiving from people, and I ain't never experienced this shit until I moved to this city. Like, and it's real sad, bro, because it's really sad. The more you get harassed, the more you deal with this shit, the more you start to see your environment is is crazy and weird. Yeah, we might, we all got some weird, you know, things about ourselves, things that don't make no sense, things that might turn people off, but no one deserves to get harassed by a whole city. I don't give a fuck what you say, but meanwhile, y'all let terroristic people and murderers and all type of sadistic people out on the street to help participate in, in on my harassment. Nah, that shit, we in Babylon, bro. We in an evil ass world. So long story short, bro. I literally get done recording that last video. I'm in the store, bro, and I'm just thinking out loud. I'm in the moment. Like, after I got done with the last video, I'm just in the moment. I'm just still thinking. I'm thinking out loud type shit when I get done with the recorder. I'm just like, yo, it really, I'm so tired of this shit. There ain't no real ass niggas in this city whatsoever. They either dead or they locked up in jail. And it's, you know how everywhere you go is just a theatrical stage. You know, I get in the store, niggas just, sta niggas just standing there. You got a nigga in all red sitting on the counter, keep tapping his car like shit, like it's not working or whatever. You know, just holding up the line. You know, a nigga, another nigga pulled up out of nowhere, and I, after, it's like he heard me say, ain't no more real ass niggas in the city. He gonna sit there raising his hand and shit. You see me talking, whether you know I'm on the phone or not, you trying to interject yourself into my conversation. And then, you know, and the only reason I'm explaining this story is because what, what he said. You know, even just listen to fucking the horn, bro. Like, everything is by design. You know, trying to throw me off for what I'm saying, but it is what it is, bro. You know, he's in the line. He raises his hand talking about some nigga. Me, I mean, I'm, I'm a real ass nigga. And I literally say to this, bro, I literally said to this nigga, that's all cool, but, you know, people out here they really not on real real ass shit people around here getting harassed and stalked and everything and i say it like there's like there's like five people in the store and niggas just sitting around smirk going like smirking and shit on oh, weird ass shit bro and then so he leave out he, as he's as he's walking out the store he's like well you know you know niggas recording and shit and you know goes like this niggas recording and shit so it is what you know and i'm like i'm like bro like <laughs> That's all cool, but you don't know why niggas is recording. You got niggas out here recording just bullshit and leading niggas astray. And you got niggas out here recording for a reason. Recording out here to try to, you know, push messages out. Shit that's hidden, that's really hidden. That niggas is, like this program, niggas is using this shit to destroy his own people. And you, and you got niggas like that out here recording to expose the truth. And he just goes like whatever it's like when you finally decide to talk to a motherfucker and you show them your realness now everybody want to act all funny and shit now you start to see how niggas really be on weird shit but the mere fact that he said that just goes and showed me how these exactly what i be saying these niggas watch my channel all using indirects and subliminals 24 7 you not real bro you not i don't even i don't and mind you i don't even know this guy bro never seen him a day in my life but you can tell off rip by the words that he's saying he's using indirects and subliminals trying to have a nigga feel a certain type of way y'all got you got yeah you got niggas out here recording niggas watching niggas aiming a phone at niggas being weird like actually targeting you know got the whole community oh look he's over here now he's over here now niggas standing your way like holding a phone taking like come on and you got niggas like us targeted individuals who get online and who's trying to it really tell what's really going on what's really going on in this world why these people around here playing this devilish ass game and i truly know i'm dealing with evil people bro and so 
and it's it's not even done. I'm I literally walk and I'm leaving, and I get another indirect. I get another indirect right, and and the dude they walk past each other. Of course, ones are red, ones are blue. I, I'm oh well, I didn't catch it on camera. But fucking ones in red, ones in blue, and they walk past the one dude in red walk past something about something. Oh, he he doing a lot, bro. He, this he just might get shot. And walk past, go inside my place, go inside my room, bro. There's a no before I even go outside. I get off the elevator, bro. You know the pedophile ass nigga who I exposed that's literally lived three doors down to me. Fuck, synchronized with me getting on the elevator. He's, oh, just in time. Fucking, I say what's up. He just, you know, walk past him, going to my room fucking off rip get hit with this chemical ass smell chemical ass smell fucking thyroid just both of my thyroid just instantly swell up start hurting fucking i'm like bro all right bro whatever my phone's a little almost dead or whatnot so i throw it on the charger and i stand out i stand outside my room and i'm walking back and forth you know just trying to wait for my phone to charge so i can come out here and you know make this video and i told myself i was gonna sit outside regardless bro because i really just don't want to deal with this shit right now and like and literally excuse me and literally you know there's a nigga on my floor that literally stands or not stands but he literally leaves his door open the whole time mind you i start walking I, i'm walking back and forth because of the chemical smell and like i said i'm trying to let my phone charge i come now he's now he's standing outside his door you know in front of his door fucking with his hand on the wall and, and staring into his room and it's like slowly going like this like like oh weird shit and then he has this, I guess, this voice activator on his phone. And he and he has the voice. Um, and, and I'm telling you this for a reason. He has the, the his phone, his phone playing off. Like, I guess whenever you press a button, you know, it, it says it out loud. And he keeps playing the same, the same message over and over again. And he's literally, it, it literally here on the phone. It's like, uh, a uh, message from two days ago zero uh 45 seconds bullet 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 and he, he keeps doing it the whole time i'm out i'm outside my room bro soon as i fucking i hear you know soon as I, I walk around the corner i close i go in the bathroom i close the door i hear this nigga close the door i come back out you know and i guess he can hear me walking back and forth he comes he opens up his door comes out stand turns around face inside of his room do the same exact thing start playing the same message on the phone bullet 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 and i said that because of what i just heard about oh he about you know basically with the agents just or with the red and the the red and the blue motherfucker i told you what they said all that goes in the sink bro like i'm really out here dealing with evil ass people Pittsburgh, pa is one of the most and I and don't don't get it twisted, bro. I know good people exist. I know there's good parts of the city, but nigga, in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh, man, it's hard to see them, bro. It's hard to see them. And I'm truly I'm truly seeing the motherfuckers who they're going out their way. They're trying to say, oh, this person's crazy. This person's weird. This nigga psychotic. Nigga's cool as fuck. They'll even try to. They hit me with a couple of indirects and subliminals. The people who I live in my room, like I'll just get on the elevator and I hear motherfuckers start arguing and shit, and because a nigga call him weird or crazy or some shit, and I end up talking to the nigga who they call him weird or crazy. Come to find out, nigga intelligent, you know everything coming out coherent. It's like, bro, it's like God's revealing to me on how niggas is not even really crazy out here. The ones who's the real crazies is the ones around here slandering, projecting all this shit around you, trying to, trying to, you know, deteriorate your 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 mind trying to have you develop some type of mental illness nigga the motherfuckers who's walking around on the street who seeming like they talking to themselves they going crazy nigga these are the same people these are the same people it's just this evil ass society rejected a unique different individual and that's like what most targeted individuals you different, you unique, you special bro there's something about you that make niggas just want to be around you you know, you just got an energy around you where niggas got to waste their time every day to constantly synchronize with you and try to do something negative to try to get a negative reaction out of you, bro. Like, this shit is sick, bro. And I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired. Because at the end of the day, I don't care what nobody say about me. Oh, he don't talk. He don't do this, bro. Y'all not dealing with the shit I'm really going through. Real evil stuff. Not rumors and lies and, oh, he's 
We heard he was such and such, so we're gonna stay away from him. No, I'm dealing with MK Ultra. I'm at this point, bro. I'm probably dealing with energy weapons and don't even know it. This is how bad these niggas is fucking with me. My, the synchronicities I deal with is just insane, bro. It's from the time I open up my eyes to the time I close my eyes, and I notice a, a, a consistency whenever I drop a video, bro, and I be speaking about some shit, bro. Like these niggas will just go above and beyond, bro. Soon as it's like they got perks to watch on my channel and as soon as that video go live nigga everything i talk about in my video nigga they hit me about 40 45 times 50 times when i step outside everything i be talking about in these videos like bro how can we can't come together as and you know bring a bunch of cool like-minded genuine people niggas talk about oh i'm a real ass nigga but you gossiping you gossiping or gossiping and using indirects and subliminals and you, you harassing and being passive aggressive to another man and shit, bro. What the fuck, bro? What, man? What is wrong with y'all, bro? You really start to see how these people are the real weirdos. Like, you legit, I don't care. Everyone's re uh, reaction to getting harassed is different, bro. Some turn crazy. Some take themselves out. Some just don't let them bother them. Some, you know, get on a grind more and just change their situation for the better. You know, it is what it is, bro. We all different, and that's what makes us special. Just because you got a nigga, oh, you can get through your pain, and you know, I, no, bro. These every, everyone deals with certain things, bro. Don't have these motherfuckers feel like you have to be a certain way. You gotta do something the way they. It's like, bro. It's like they want you to live life how they think you should live life. Now get off. Get off of my dick and get off of other people's dick. You got motherfuckers around here really trying to control your life, control perspective of reality. You need to understand these people are evil people. There's something sadistically wrong with these type of people to the point where you can get harassed by the whole city day and night. And like I said, the only reason why I'm even talking about this is because I just acknowledged it. I, I saw how my reality shifted. I saw how niggas start acting and moving weird when I was used to a reality where I come around people and we cool and there's no weird vibes or nothing. Now you get around people you don't know and it's like off rip nigga just hit you you just feel that energy whether my discernment or my intuition is through the roof bro i know niggas is on bullshit bro and they trying to project that shit onto me like i'm some fake ass nigga when i'm the only one being me i'm the only one being me bro doing what i do yeah fucking before this program i know that uh you know the the purpose is to isolate you and have you around nobody but nigga i was already like that so y'all can keep calling nigga crazy for sitting on my own. Yeah, it's a, it's a little fucked up for me, I know, because, you know, I would still always see the real in people and want to communicate and talk to people. But in this, what I'm dealing with right now, bro, is calculated. I'm not dealing with your, your, your average haters, you know, your, you random people to, oh, I don't like that motherfucker. Like, nah, I'm dealing with some orchestrated bullshit where i got a bunch of devilish ass people consistently synchronizing with me and projecting i'm the weirdo you know i'm crazy i'm strange i'm doing all this shit but these niggas going above and beyond to psychologically torture you understand bro these people are psychotic and crazy bro there's something wrong with this shit bro this shit is evil I'm dealing with real evil stuff, and I'm not trying to say other people there, you know, other people aren't suffering, other people ain't going through it. Nah, and that's more than that's what I be thinking about when I even be making these videos. What about the other people who they ain't even catch on to it, bro? And they took themselves out or they got tired of it because they thought they were just losing their mind. And I'm not taking away from people who's actually suffering from mental abuse or or mental illness or you know, actually have a drug problem or something. Those people exist. You know, people start seeing shit when they start doing the heavy drugs and shit like that. But I'm not on nothing like that, bro. I'm telling something that's very real, something that's very true, something that's actually happening to millions of Americans or even people around the world. I'm telling real shit. And the more I tell this shit, the more I tell about my experience and my physical reality, they just increase, increase, increase. While at the same time trying to portray that I'm some weirdo, bro. It's sick behavior, bro. These niggas is sick, you know? You know, shit like that, look, blue blue shirt, red bike, you know? Don't hear him talking or nothing on the way here, but as soon as they get behind me, I ain't hear what he said because I got these earphones in my head, but he literally said something behind me. Maybe the camera picked it up. But literally wait till you get right behind you just to say some shit. 
And it's like, that's another thing I realized whenever you be, and like I said, I feel like they be watching this shit live as we be making videos. You know, this is why they be trying to do shit. They'll send a, a loud truck or sirens or, you know, send people to get next to you and start yelling and shit. And, you know, just to distract you from speaking truth because they hate it. The way they attack us is exactly what I'm explaining. What they do, that's what evil do. Try to destroy you any way possible. The way we have to attack evil is back speaking truth. This is why they get to the point where they start using indirect, trying to stop in front of you to stop from what you're saying and shit. And want to, you know, the nigga in the store trying to use indirects and subum. Oh, niggas always want to record shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma tell it all, bro. Cause if y'all can fucking band together in y'all little evil ass community and slander people's name and have people you don't even have to meet a motherfucker, but you label a motherfucker crazy and weird, but you ain't never utter a word to a motherfucker, and you not even seeing, you not even looking at the bigger picture. That's how you know these people be narcissistic as hell. They don't see nothing they do and be like, oh, maybe this shit is wrong. Maybe this shit is fucking, you know. Like like shit like this. Look, look how this dude got his light on, right? And this person's is all red. I just turned my head in the capture. What the what the fuck you got the light on for, bro? On the fucking bike track. You know what what the fuck you got the light? On? Let's see what colors you got on too. It just something I point out. You know, let's get them attention they be want. You know, red leggings, red bag on the side, and you got your light on. Like. It's, this is nothing you could do, bro. You deal with the most weirdest shit, and they harass you to a point where only you know you're getting harassed. Understand, bro. Society's filled with weird and crazy people at this point. And whenever you're somebody who focus on yourself, who 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 choose to try to better yourself, choose to try to work on your sins, work on your problems, try to be your better version, be at competition with yourself, you'll have people with who's in competition with you. Who's trying to one up you and shit? Like what? What? what like what? What? It'll be a different thing if I was around here doing what y'all doing, talking shit, harassing, you know, slandering people, since you know rumors and lies, trying to go out my way to make sure. Hey, yeah, you see that motherfucker? Make sure you stay away from him. He's a gang stalker. He goes around harassing people. Like nah, bro. Like it. I'm just I'm over it, bro. And at this point, bro, Pittsburgh, PA, stay away from it. If you're a targeted individual, stay away from this city, cause you're really dealing with evil people, bro. This is an evil last city. See shit like that. Ah, oh, you know, right when they get past you, it's evil shit, bro. You dealing with evil people, you know. Don't let these people distract you from nothing, bro. Don't let these people play you like you a fool, like there's something wrong with you, nah, bro. These people are villains. But like, I want to keep these videos short, so I'm gonna end the video right here. This shit is 17 minutes. This Bahamut man, I'm out. Make sure y'all stay up and stay high vibrational.